Hello, thank you for joining me. So in this series of videos, I'm going to show you how to put together a very simple wheel tire design, a wheel tire subassembly, and uh, we're going to apply that towards our lawnmower. So let's go ahead and get started. What we want to consider is uh, what plane we're going to start on. What we're going to be doing is a revolve feature. So we want to make sure that revolve feature kind of revolves towards us. What we're going to do is we're going to draw a profile of that revolve feature and uh, actually rotate that towards us. So uh, if you think about it, we're actually going to, and it'll become clear as we go through this, we're going to use the front plane to do that. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's go to sketch and go to center line once we pick the plane that we want. And I'm going to draw a couple uh, center lines here. We're going to draw a vertical one and a, a horizontal one. I'm going to select the midpoint of that one, the center of that, or where the origin is. Wait for our mouse uh, shortcut menu to co uh, come up, make that coincident, and do the same thing with the vertical line. Select the midpoint of that line, select the origin, make this coincident, and bang, we're ready to go. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to consider this to be the inside of the wheel, and this would be the outside. So the profile on the inside and the profile on the outside are going to be a little bit different. So let's go ahead and, uh, yeah, let's get started on that. So what I want to do is I want to have a hub that's probably about an inch uh, wide on, uh, on the inside, and maybe two inches wide on the outside. And then uh, the thickness of the wheel probably be about uh, maybe an inch, inch and a half on the bottom. So let's go ahead and draw. We're going to draw half of this first and mirror it to the other side. And then we're going to revolve uh, both of those sides around this axis. So let's go ahead and draw this out. We're going to make this about an inch and a half. So let's go out about uh, maybe three quarters of an inch. And then go up. And we're going to draw the outside first. So the outside I'm going to make about, uh, I don't know, about two inches. So we'll go up about an inch. Go back in, we'll make the thickness of the wheel about a half an inch. And we're going to go up about maybe uh, two and a half inches because we want the total height of the wheel to be about six inches. So we'll draw something like that. There goes that pony line. And then over here, we're going to exaggerate that, bring our center line over there and do a trim just on this side. And now we're in pretty good shape there. So let's go ahead and put in some of our, our, some of our dimensions. This is going to be an inch and a half from that line to that line. We want to make sure it's over the halfway point so we can get to that view there. This one's going to be two inches. So we're going to make that two. The thickness here is going to be about an inch. We're going to again go over half, so we're considering everything to be uh, to be diameter dimensions here. And we want this line and that line, if we go over the halfway point over here, we want to make that total distance to be about six inches. That's kind of a thick wheel, so let's make that uh, maybe six and a half inches. the rim. And these can change too, by the way. We have a lot of flexibility in making edits and modifications to these. We're going to make this about a half an inch. And then the distance here, the thickness of the tire, we're going to make that about um, maybe about two inches. So let's kind of look at that a second. Um, inch and a half in the bottom for the hub, two inches thick there. You know, that looks okay. But one thing we're going to do with this uh, profile is uh, we're going to mirror it over to this other side. We're going to make some changes over here. The hub's going to be a little bit thinner on this side than it's going to be on that side. So an easy way to grab all these uh, elements is to right click on it, go to select chain, with the control key, select that center line, go to mirror entities, bang, it puts it on that side. What we don't want is we want to kind of uh, start deleting some of these symmetric relationships in here so we can make some changes to our uh, hub that's going to be on the inside. When we do that, you'll notice that the symmetric relationships were uh, related to these corners, these vertices over here. So what it doesn't do is it provides uh, horizontal and vertical relationships on those lines. It just assumes that that point over here is uh, going to be symmetric at that point uh, per the center line. So we're going to have to reestablish those. So we're going to have to make that a horizontal first before we put a dimension on that. So we're going to put a dimension from that to that, and we're going to make that one inch rather than uh, two inches on the other side. And uh, this distance here, we're going to keep that the same. Yep, we don't have to do that. It's got an inch and a half uh, dimension on that, but we do want to make that vertical. And we also want to make this line vertical too, and that should lock it into place. Okay, we're about ready to revolve this. Go to Features, Revolve Boss Base. Axis of Revolution is going to be that line, that center line. And go to green check mark. Bang, we're in pretty good shape. Notice that I already uh, added my um, my material here. 
and uh, you know the wheel kind of looks a little bit on the thick side so let's go back and check that uh, that sketch and see if we might want to change that two inches might be a little bit thick but tell you what I'm gonna let you make those edits and we'll get some more uh, definite parameters on that a little bit later and for that we're gonna conclude this film and pick it up on the next one